what's up bosses what's up what's up y'all so today we are working in Corel draw I have a gender reveal to go to and so I'm wearing some camo pants today and I want to create a cute little design for me um, so everybody else's shirts say either team bows or team free throws so I want mine to be just a little bit different because I am the mom so these are the shirts team free throws and then the other one says uh, team bows and they just have a hair bow a cute little bow on it well I always like to come correct so I want to be jazzy so I went online got me a cute little black girl baby doll and I'm making the wording to match what I'm doing so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this over to the side object group and I'm gonna show y'all how I made this real quick right because somebody else might want to make this vector design and I think I'm gonna actually end up wearing this on a darker color shirt so I'm gonna have to put a outline around it I'm gonna show you how to do that in Corel draw so the first thing that I do in Corel is you're just gonna type out the word bows or whatever your wording is because you want to get this camouflage this camo look off into it you want to choose a big font so let's go with this font here All right so you choose a font if you want to outline you can right click um, I'm sorry left click on the image and that will put and click on there and that'll put your outline now the outline is real small so you can barely see it so I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna click hairline and I'm gonna change that and make that big to a point to where I can see it whatever size I want it to be that may be too big for me so you're just gonna do that for the sake of the video we'll leave it big for now now I've got this black I'm gonna go down here in this box in this field and I'm going to double click it. In Corel you have different types of patterns and things that you can do. So this is just a solid feel. This is a gradient feel. You can go in and play with that. Turn that around. You've got different. Look at that. How cute is that? So you got different patterns that you could, that you could do. Um, you can also upload your own pattern. I'm not going to be clicking on a whole lot of stuff, y'all, because, okay, you can upload your own pattern here, which is what I did, is I have a pattern here that's uploaded and saved, right? So if you hit on here, you can select new source from workspace. And, of course, my, because my computer go new source from file it would open up the file um, so what I did is I just downloaded a camo pattern um, actually I made that camo pattern some time ago but you can download a camo pattern from online and then open it and then click import and it would be here in this file or you could also just import it a picture of a camo background and then power clip it but we're just using this transition now notice that right here because I've got this set for at an 80 by 80 inch square I've got a line right there so I didn't want that line right there so what Corel has is some options to change that to make it seamless and so if I click on this linear blend that will change the design around and then I can go in and I can you know adjust it and all of that stuff to make it be whatever I want so that's how you would do your lettering now for this baby the baby did not have um, okay so it looks like computer slowing down a little bit let me kept, let it catch up hit escape okay so now we have to bring in the image what we want to do for this little baby for some reason I keep getting that tool instead of what I need so I've already downloaded the baby off of the internet and I'm just gonna pull it in I believe it is um, 
Where is the baby? There's the baby. Okay. So there is the baby. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to get rid of this uh, background. If you're just printing this on a white shirt, you can leave that. You can leave that background with no problem. But I'm not. So I want to change that out. So the first thing I like to do is I like to go up here and see what the resolution of the image is and I'm going to try to clean it up a little bit take it to 300 that will just make clean it up a little bit okay then if I needed to lighten it or do any work with, with the image I would do that and then at that point I'm just going to do a outline trace and for now I'm going to use clip art um, originally I used um, just a regular outline so we're going to do an outline trace. So once I do the outline trace, I'm just going to kind of look at it. I do see a little bit of black in there where the gray is. But this is just a picture and it's not going to be just a big, big deal, right? And come down a little bit. I don't like that. So... I don't like that outline, so I'm going to do it again, and I'm going to do line art. Now, one thing that you can do is you can go in and actually select the colors that you want um, this to outline, and I'm going to show you in just a second. I'm trying to do a quick video, but I do want to show you that in just a second so you see how this is giving me a little couple of other things okay so right here I can go over to here and I can say group these by similarity and I only want I've got pink black brown another pink let's say I only want a maximum of four colors in this design this will drop that down to now I've got those three pinks which that took out that 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 line there right so I don't like that go here um, bring in another color Let's see if I get that outline back and so that kind of brought it back but that made that outline be another color that I did not want it to be and I'm gonna merge this color down control and merge that color and I'm gonna hit merge which should merge those two colors in together let me hit OK and see what that looks like so what that did guys is it looked a little weird when it did it but it merged these it merged the colors together and it did not do a good job um, you'll have to go in and just play just go in and just play with that I just want to show you that and now I'm going to go ahead and do this as I actually did it. Come on, reduce the bitmap. Okay. So you can go in and reduce the colors. You've just got to play around with it. Um, now on this one, we're just going to use a regular outline and we're got it set up as if it was a logo that seems to work best for me you see how we lost some of her lashes i um, push that up and kind of grab some more of that to where I am here kind of maybe right off in there somewhere like that just a little bit more and 
let's see how that works for us okay and that works pretty good that one looks pretty good so you know not bad so now that we have this we're just going to go ahead and hit control uh, U to ungroup it I believe control U will ungroup and you see how I just removed that out the way now one thing you're going to notice when I move that out the way is now I have the image but you see here where the where the eyes are those eyeballs are those are um, the color the background color here so if I was to actually go here and do a square an object order this to the back you're gonna see that color come through so what we're gonna do we're gonna use our smart field tool and I'm gonna click in there and just click it and that's gonna change the color right there now of course right now it's blue so you know you want to change it to white and I believe that's my white and so I'm just clicking on the eyeballs those little areas in the eyeball and change those to white maybe a little spot right there that needs to be changed but I think this will be fine now right there up there I see something I can delete it that's why it's good to put this on a darker background now if I want to take these lips and I wanted her lipstick to be didn't want that part I want that pink part let's move this out the way okay so if I wanted her lips to be blue or whatever color I wanted that to be I could change that okay so I'm gonna leave it the color it is um, and now I've got to do something with this hair bow and so if I click the hair bow and I move it we see that I just got that part of the hair bow earlier I didn't have all of this I had on my sometimes you'll trace it it'll trace different and it trace each part of the hair bow individually but it doesn't matter to me much so I'm gonna take this hair bow go here and click on that go over here to where I had the camo and click it and there's my camouflage um, logo there now I've got some places back off in there where I can see a little bit of different stuff coming through and I'll go in and I'll, I'll work with that um, and those places like that I'm just gonna make that black Cause this is a this is a um, this is just a um, okay I see what it is it's the outline so it's actually part of the hair bow that I need to fix which is that stuff in here somewhere nope can't get it I'll have to undo it so let me just put this over to the side I hate doing stuff like that I'm looking for those little pieces right there okay now that I see that little piece I'm gonna turn that black you could just select and make anything that you need to be okay see how that I click that and that's kind of like a brownish color click it and make it black and that's perfectly black now I got to come up here and I can look as I'm going in and see where that hair bow is put the hair bow there and I'm good to go take all of that and I'm gonna hit control G group it so that I can move it over and now we moved it over and you just set it how you want it to be here I have it going to the back um, of this design let's see here just put that on a white background so that y'all can see it too um, it's white and object that order it to the back 
of the page okay I just like to have it side by side so that you can see and I can see okay so I do it to fit okay so there we go we pretty much have the design how we want it um, and I have to you know I would have to type out those word the word period and put that on there and boom I would be done well not exactly hmm I kind of think I like the bows sitting to the front like that I think I like that sitting to the front one thing that I did here so you see it's a little bit different um, than how I originally created it so I'm going to take that hair bow and go object and ungroup it and hopefully I won't lose my camo effect when I do that now I because I want that to still be pink it's too much too much camo too much camo for me right okay boom okay now I guess I'll leave my baby with the with that little lipstick I'm just gonna click um, well I thought I was gonna just click the wording and just but I'll just go ahead and type it out so bows period it doesn't have to say team bows or anything like that everybody always puts team whatever um, but you know seriously you can just do different stuff for your gender reveal and um, make it kind of fit your personality and this little baby is kind of fly she fits you know she fits my personality and so I like you know I'm gonna go in I'm the mama bear so I'm wearing that's why I'm wearing my camo um, just you know just kind of funny stuff and I like to do and there is oh there is my period and so that's how I made the design y'all now there's one more thing that you have to do so if you were just gonna print this um, you'd be fine you know to just flip it select it flip it and then go to print if you're printing on a white shirt but if you're printing on a color shirt and you want to do a cut and print over this design I would take the whole design and group it right well no no I'm not gonna group it I would just select the whole design yeah um, and let's see you can either weld it let's see we're gonna make a frame create a boundary and so when you create that boundary that creates an outline see how that does that creates an outline so you have a cut line to cut around so create the boundary and then you can either add a couple of points to the boundary go there and order that boundary to the back of the page um, so right now let's make this green or blue or whatever that we're gonna have um, that boundary be I need to do that outline that's what I was looking for I didn't see that I didn't see my outline being that blue so I just want to go in and kind of zoom because I need y'all to follow me there we go okay so I created the boundary and then I just up that to the size that I need to be oh, wow um, but what I did was instead of putting the outline is I put a contour around that image and right now the contour is a light color so let me make the contour be dark so that you guys can see it that's just the outline just the um, the contour right so can always take it and drop it down to one point okay I see what that is that needs to be turned green okay so the contour on the outside of the color of the bows is actually 
yellow and then I've got the contour set as a green outline which I guess I should change that as to a yellow outline so everything matches okay so the reason one reason that you may want to do a contour around the design versus doing an outline is because see when we do a contour then it makes it easier where if you're going to be cutting this by hand or even if you've got a cutter and your cutter is real crappy right if you're going to be cutting this by hand it will kind of join everything here for you okay now the problem that you would have if you're doing this by hand now is that you're going to have I'm going to zoom in you see these little pieces here you would have those little pieces that would not be solid behind that but you could use this fill button and go in and click those and make those let's see what color that whatever color that is I took that dropper tool and click that and then I can click on that and make it the actual color that that is so you could oh, thing with that dropper tool is it goes crazy so you could go in and you could drop places like this so it wouldn't be white um, off in there you wouldn't have any type of white left in there to where when you just cut around it you've got a pretty full stencil now right here um, it's not going to catch because it's not a line but if I wanted it to catch that then I could make it catch that too and what I would have to do is go in and draw some type of a, some type of a line um, and I'll just put a box here like just for now and I'm going to end up removing the box could just put a box here make it even with that and then go here to this field and click that now I should be able to remove the box if I did it perfect um, now I can remove that box and now when I get ready to go in and print all of this y'all and then put just an outline on all the places that you did it just so that you know that it's going to come out solid right boom there we go so now you got that to where you can put it on any color shirt and if you don't have a color you can easily cut around that um, okay y'all so basically I'm gonna print this out um, as an inkjet transfer and I'm gonna use the um, 3g paper and I'm going to use my Canon printer to print this out and go in here to my preferences first let me change that because I've got it on separations because I normally use that printer for separations change that to print composite sorry it's so loud in the background but I am doing um, some remodeling doing an add-on um, this is actually 13 by 19 I believe yeah that's the 13 by 19 oh, see here where is it 13 by 19 and I actually already have this stuff in here like 13 by 19 inch transfers not mirrored um, on my setting but if you put t-shirt transfers this will flip it over right even if you say for it not to flip so I'm going to change that to paper and I'm going to change that paper to just matte matte in just me uh, matte photo paper in just be means like your newest the newest one that's all that means so I'm just gonna, I am going to go ahead and just do it like this so that way I know that I don't have any types of problems 
and I guess that's big enough it doesn't have to be you know too big um, but that's my shirt right there uh, let's go here and I'm just gonna go ahead and print it and hopefully that printer is hooked up Y'all, I got three printers hooked up, and I just know, don't know which one it is. Don't know which one it is, right? Okay. Because all of them are saying they ready. Okay, there it is showing that I might be the ran out of ink so hopefully not hopefully not so this is the t-shirt that I'm actually going to use the yellow which is why I did decide to go ahead and cut it out with yellow now I don't have a silhouette cameo cutter or anything like that here um, because I gave all of that stuff to my daughter because I'm mainly doing screen printing so you know, not going to trip. That's why we did the design where we could cut it out and lay it on the shirt. It's almost through printing. I can't wait to show it to y'all. Hopefully I can get to show it to you guys when I press it. Um, or I'll take a picture of me with it on. So, don't know if you guys can see. Here's my leg. That's the camo that I'm wearing. So, that is my print right here. Okay. So, like I said, see how pretty that's going to be on there? And I'm going to do this all with scissors, right? So, I'm just going to let it dry just for a little second. Kind of start cutting around it. And I am a professional cutter, y'all. <laughs> right the thing is when you have um when you make your design the same color um as the shirt or close to it you can cut around the design and put it on the shirt and not be a big thing now of course i'm just doing this because this is a you know, like I said, y'all, this is a event for my daughter. And so, it's not a real big one. For those of you guys who are um, website members, um, I will go ahead and put this in um, this uh, camouflage print. I'll go ahead and put that camo print pattern up in the files, in the lady, uh, print boss shared files on the cloud. So you guys can access those. If you're not a member, 
then you might want to become a member because channel members and website members um, also get access to all of my files and I got a lot of files like thousands and thousands of files so you will get access to the files um, that I own different things that I'll put up um, on the site right. there we go so almost done almost done and y'all see that I'm not um, the best at cutting this now when I get to this last part y'all stay and watch till I get to this last part because this part is going to be something that you're really really going to want to see especially if you are new because when you do these transfers like this if you don't know how to peel these transfers you are in a for a shop you're in for a shop so with this transfer what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pick, pull this right here and I just broke that apart and I broke it apart apart before I cut all of that so I'm, when I break it I don't have to worry about you know messing up my my design right there so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of like start peeling this apart because the 3g paper is pretty hard to peel y'all see right there it will even try to stay on to the paper at times so I'm just gonna peel this up I'll peel this up so I've got something to pull from and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out that's very important y'all that's it's a little bit of detail but it's really really important um, now like if you're doing a printing cut even when you do a printing cut it's kind of hard because your printers print you know print out that design but I would tell you to after it cuts it is to weed the outside part uh, first don't try to weed just the inside don't try to just pull it from the inside part if you're if you're doing it on a printing cut machine because if you weed the outside first then you're able to reach and peel up that little piece right now See, I've got that piece peeled up. And I got this piece right here peeled up too. So, now this was cut. I just did this on my regular Canon printer. Um, I don't recommend Canon printers to print um, on because, unless it's some type of, you know, printer that has a lot of ink. Cause those cartridges are very very expensive um, and I don't print on that to do shirts um, I do have a the um, a Epson printer over there and that's what I would recommend uh, uh, Echo Tank some people call it Eco Tank whatever however you want to call it um, but that's the printer that I recommend y'all see it ain't it gonna be cute Child, team bows, period. Now I can go in and take those two little, I could go in and cut those two little spaces off right there. Um, that's just not a big deal to me. That's not a big deal to me, so I would have left them, but since y'all watching, I actually think I'm going to just, you know what? I'll just go on and cut them off. I'll just go on and cut them off. It's not a big deal, but... Sometimes people overthink t-shirts. Don't overthink your t-shirt designs. Because you're the one, you're the one that's designing it. And... A lot of times people overthink it and they try to make it perfect because they know that, oh, they may see something that uh, the customer won't see. But 
the truth of the matter is, y'all, I do stuff, and the majority of the stuff that I do, 99% of the time, customers just love it. They're like, okay, that's just, that's just fine. So, like I said, that's not cut perfect. See how that's cut? That's kind of off. It's not perfectly rounded. If I want to be real particular about it, I can go in and try to round it, but it's going to blend with the shirt, so it's not going to be a big deal. So at this point, you would want to go ahead, peel your design, lay it on the heat press. I'm just peeling from the back because I don't want my fingers all over the front of it. Just because, like I said, it just it just printed and the ink is still a little bit wet. Now, when you're peeling, if you're peeling a, a design that's got a lot of cuts and stuff in it, then, you know, be a little bit careful. Let me get down here to this wording. I'm going to be a little bit careful. Okay. So, I got that there. All I'm going to do is take that, put her on my heat press, cover it over with a cover sheet or a Teflon, and boom! I love it. I love it. I love it. There we go. Full tutorial. Y'all, let me know what y'all think. Empty ways. I'll come back and show you when I press it.